Hi, this is my first recording video for a response to our discussion on Monday's class of big data. Um, I was really interested in uh, data visualization from the class. And afterwards, um, I found someone that I followed on Pinterest um, had created a different data visualization um, than, it, than one he previously discovered. Um, and I thought it was interesting to think about that uh, the, the data in itself doesn't always have a meaning. And it's um, these visualization tools that we use that um, help us to make meaning from the data and that different meanings can be made from that. And so that it's interesting to think about when, what exactly we think is being expressed by the data and what would be the best way to show that. Um, so he first located this interactive data visualization uh, that um, represents the drone strikes in Pakistan. Um, so here you can see it says um, 3,149 people in Pakistan from drone strikes, and less than 2% of those victims are high profile targets. So it then sort of walks you through the drone strikes and um, how those that have been affected. As you can see at the top of the screen, it says children, civilian, other, and then it's also going to have high profile. And so we'll see the first recorded drone strike here in 2004. So two children, five other. And you can see as time goes on, the um, fatalities increase. So in 2008, there's three high profile fatalities uh, as opposed to 89 children, 64 civilian, and 8,400 other. You can see right here, those numbers start to dramatically increase. Below it, um, it, each segment uh, is one fatality and the color is uh, dependent upon um, whether or not it was a child, a civilian, or other. So, or, or high profile, which is the bright white. So in contrast um, is uh, this uh, data visualization method.
Um, so as opposed to the other ones, it's static. And uh, it, it seems to more strongly suggest the relationships between uh, these values of civilian children and other. And I guess what's so striking about this is that the, the other category have these drone strikes. Well, with uh, the other representation, it, it gives you a sense of um, the, the history of these attacks. And it, it makes it um, more than just numbers. It makes it as having a representation in that graph. Um, and so I think it's important to look at these as, as different ways to represent data.